But uh, let's go to our special segment now, Charting Trends. Mitesh Chakar joins us to help us out with a few ideas. Uh, hi, Mitesh. Uh, welcome back on the show. Well, let's talk about a couple of ideas that you have. Pidilite, that's the stock that you're looking at and it's looking particularly good on the charts. Tell us more. Nigel, I think, you know, uh, very importantly, what Pidilite was doing since uh, uh, about June, uh, May, June of 22, was getting into a contracting pattern on the monthly basis, which means that the longer term charts were contracting. And actually, you saw that for the last about 18 months, the stock didn't give any kind of absolute returns. The indicators were coming, uh, uh, were, you know, coming out from the overbought levels and uh, settling down on the monthly basis. So we saw the stock, you know, just being sideways broadly, not getting past 2800 and not falling much below 23, 2400 on the downside. That contraction has now come to an end and there's some kind of a breakout which has taken place. Recommend buying this one for targets of 3400, 3600, I think, you know, it uh, looks very logical extension and even possibility of 3900 exists on the chart. So these are the upside, you know, uh, this is the kind of upside which this stock price can give in the next uh, four to six to seven months. And unless until the stock starts breaking below 2740, the long-term trend and the bias will be on the upside. So that's a very strong buy for me for the aforementioned price targets. And the target price over the next few months is 3,900, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, over the next five to seven months. Uh, let's move on to the other one, Gujarat Gas. Uh, what's the chart telling you? You know, this is a stock, you know, which had a very strong month uh, uh, in, the, uh, on, in, in January 2024. And then what we have seen is that uh, for the entire month of February and March, the stock is giving a pullback. Now, given the fact that this is a pullback happening on the longer term charts, it gives you a very enticing entry point in terms of risk reward equation. So accumulate the stock between 530, 500 uh, range and keep a stop below 455. So you have about 10% kind of a risk. And the long term chart suggests targets of around 620, possibly 670 in the next four to six months. So giving you a good uh, risk reward equation from the current levels and since the long-term trend is on the upside, very clearly a buy for me. All right. Uh, Mitesh, I particularly want to know what you're going to say on HUL. You know, that stock goes into its shell for a while, for a few years sometimes, and then it comes up and then it moves. You know, as we saw, I think between 2000 to 2010, didn't move at all. 2000 to 2020, went like a rocket. And last few years, big underperformer. What's the view right now? In fact, I think, you know, in the near term, which is uh, a few months for the stock price on the long-term charts, uh, Nigel, if you observe the movement starting from uh, September of 21, I think on about eight or nine occasions, the stock has touched levels of 2670 on an intra-month basis, never giving a monthly closing above that. So it's, you know, some kind of a top formation which has happened over here. And now there is a breakdown below the monthly average. So my sense is that the stock is an underperformer. Avoid if somebody has it, it's an exit. I'm looking at sub 2000 levels as the minimum. We could see, you know, in, in, in panic, I think even uh, levels of around... Uh, 1940 to about 1875 but i think this is not a stock which will participate in the upside so if you have your money blocking over there exit and i think you know try to look for better opportunities and finally srf uh even with a disclaimer here that i've just bought uh, srf into my portfolio as well i think again this is a stock you know which was consolidating uh in the range of about 2200 to about 2600 that consolidation has already lasted 24 months and now there are early signs of a breakout. So, you know, I have bought some quantity. I would want to see the stock price get beyond this 26, 25, 26, 30 levels to add more. But I think once that happens, keep a stop at 2480 and the measuring implications of this breakout suggest that on the longer term charts, we could see the stock head towards 30 to 50 as a minimum with 34, 50, 3500 as the logical targets. Okay, gentlemen, uh, Mitesh, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Those are some medium term, uh, you know, stock opinions. Pity Light, HUL, Gujarat Gas, and the last one is SRF, uh, you know, which Mitesh likes over the medium term, over the next couple of months.